Hello, welcome to number seven Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermonette is called After the Painful Process. After the Painful Process. Part of being a Christian is not just being born again. Part of being a Christian is not being a baby forever. Part of being a Christian is the developing process into maturity. God desires that everyone who is a born-again Christian grows in their walk with God and grows spiritually. God wants us to develop the fruits of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit. But I want to tell you that there is only one way for that to take place. And that way to happen is through pain. And everyone does not love pain. And everyone does not want to go through pain. But everyone will go through pain if you have not already. It is part of life and it's part of being a Christian. And I want to tell you that the pain is not against you. It's actually for you. Because without this pain, it is not possible for you to grow. And the emphasis of this sermon is not to glorify pain, but to actually glorify God through the pain and realizing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's after the painful process of God that is going to make you realize that everything that you went through was worth it if you stay faithful to Jesus Christ. The first Bible verse that I would like to read is this. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And the thing that I want to emphasize with this Bible verse, it doesn't say all that proclaim to live godly in Jesus Christ. It doesn't say all those that call themselves a Christian. What it says is all those that live godly in Christ. Because if you're not living godly in Christ, you can be like someone that straddles the fence and when you're around uh, people that are uh, atheists, you conform to the atheists. When you're around people that are Muslims, you conform to the Muslim religion. When you're around people that are against Jesus Christ, you conform to them. You're not going to suffer persecution because you're like a chameleon. You fit in everywhere you go. But Part of the painful process of being a Christian is not fitting in everywhere you go, but maintaining your faith in Jesus Christ, maintaining your integrity, and maintaining your life that is going to shine. And if you shine in a dark place, those that are insecure about their sin and those that are insecure and know that what they're doing is wrong, they're going to try to put out the light inside of you, and that is going to cause you pain. And some of this attacks will come from your family members. The Bible says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Some of us have been rejected by our parents, whether it be through uh, a choice that they chose to reject us or whether they actually died and left us alone. Uh, at one point in time, there's going to be a, a loss of your parents, whether it be psychological, emotional, spiritual. You're going to suffer pain from the hand of your parents, whether they leave you or whether they attack you. It's going to happen. The, the key to this is that we have to forgive. When we go through this painful process of growing in our Christian walk we have to learn to forgive unconditionally that doesn't mean we agree with what they did or we approve it it means that we choose to be spiritually free so we have to forgive um the next thing is that our friends are going to turn against us they're going to attack us even those that claim to be a christian why is this going to happen uh because the devil is going to do everything he can to relentlessly fight against us even the people that are in your church they're going to fight against you not everyone not all of your friends not all your family i'm not saying that but i'm saying it's part of life that you're going to experience these things another uh thing that's going to happen is some of you are going to lose your jobs some of you are going to lose your home some of you are losing your cars and someone said why are you being so negative why don't you speak positive because I'm telling you the truth look at all those people that have lost family members have lost their jobs have lost their houses and have lost their cars through those tornadoes through uh, whether you want to call them an act of God or a natural disaster N nevertheless these things are going to take place and they're going to continue to take place but the question is are you prepared for when it happens to you it's gonna happen to you I'm not trying to curse you I'm not saying that something uh, bad is going to happen to you. I'm telling you that after the painful process, you're going to grow into a 
beautiful diamond. You're going to grow into a beautiful gold nugget. You're going to be a perfect piece of clay and you're going to reflect God's image if you stay faithful in the painful process. Remember that there's an after effect that's going to be well worth it. The next Bible verse that I would like to read for you is John chapter 15 verse 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Jesus Christ is saying, look, I can relate to you. When people come against you, don't take it personal. It's spiritual. If they hated me, they're going to hate you. And someone said, oh, my friends and family would never do that. Maybe because you've not grown yet spiritually. I want to throw this at you. If any of you receive or inherit two to three million dollars immediately today, if you go and check your bank account and it says two to three million dollars as your balance and they post this on the news so that all of your family members and all your friends get to see that you inherited two to three million dollars how many of you honestly and truly believe that all of your family and all of your friends will treat you exactly the same way that they treat you now the truth is there may be a few family members that are going to love you unconditionally regardless of how much you have or how much you don't have. The truth is there may be a few friends in your life that are going to support you, encourage you, and love you regardless of how much money you have and how rich you are. But the truth, the bitter truth is also this, that some of your family and some of your friends are going to be envious of you, they're going to be jealous of you, and they're going to be angry that you became rich because they don't have what you have. And I want to tell you how much greater is that same truth when we become spiritually rich, when we grow uh, in Jesus Christ and we grow mature, how much more are we going to have that same exact reaction to certain people? people in our life when you begin to continue to grow in God when you take a, a step out in faith in Jesus Christ there are going to be people in your life who are going to be envious they're going to be uh, jealous and they're going to have hatred towards you it's not personal remember always pray, pray and always forgive but I want to tell you that this is unavoidable it's absolutely gonna happen to you at one point in time if it didn't already happen it will happen I guarantee that it's in the Bible all those that live if godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. It's on its way. And I want to encourage you to stay strong in your faith. Stay strong to your trust on Jesus Christ. The next Bible verse that I want to read to you is Psalms chapter 30 verse 5. And it says, For his anger but a moment in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. God is telling us that, yeah, weeping is going to come. There's going to be pain. But if you stay uh, faithful to your walk with God, even if you mess up in your walk with God, even if you fall, but you continue to seek after him, it's going to be at one point in time that joy is going to be on its way. And ultimately, our ultimate goal is that when we die, we're going to be in eternal heaven with Jesus Christ. We're going to walk on streets of gold. There's going to be pearly gates waiting for us. And God is going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. That is going to be well worth it. The last Bible verse that I would like to read is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All the suffering and all the pain that you go through in this life, it is not even close. It is not even logical. It's not reasonable for you to even consider to compare it to the eternal glory that waits for us. Stay faithful and God bless you. Have a wonderful day.